What's that shirt? Mean? I see you wearing it. That's a long story. <laughs> Maybe another day. Another day. <laughs> So when you see uh, you know, Maurice take a you know kickoff back like that, do you ever like second guess like having him uh, you know fair catch it a lot because he can make plays like that? No, everything we do is uh, strategic, and uh, we're trying to trying to give us give our team the best chance to be successful. And uh, it's just uh, we want to do certain things that to give us a, a good opportunity. And uh, sure, you could uh, you could return more of them. Uh, you can find yourself being first and ten on the seventeen yard line, and uh, that's not what we're trying to do. You know, this game is about field position, uh, putting yourself in position, and uh, so we've got parameters. They vary from week to week, uh, based on who we're seeing and what they're doing, and you know, we feel like we give ourselves a, a chance to win. Yeah, Pat mentioned something like you guys would have like average field position would be better if you fair caught it every time. Is it is, it, is that correct? If we caught, if we fair caught it every time, like average field position throughout the season. Well, that would depend on what the returns were when we returned them. So, I mean. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, before the season, asked you about you know replacing Henderson back there, and your answer at the time was that you know you didn't even really know who'd be replacing him because you were more worried about the guys up front. And so, you know, with three return touchdowns already this season, what have they done to you know make those plays happen? Those guys you have. Up front of the team. Well, most times when you return a kick mm -hmm. for a touchdown, they're they're, un they're unscathed. I mean, the, the the coverage has to help you. Some mm -hmm. people do certain things to help you, and um, so I mean, <clears throat> what we're doing right now is you just got to just keep your eyes on your keys and run where the defense tells you to run, and you'll have a chance. Some teams do things that you know they really you know whether it's matchups or uh, their coverage style doesn't give you a chance and so you know if you look over the years you know most of our returns have been pretty much untouched now we've had a couple of the one against central florida he had to make a guy miss mm -hmm. and so forth but you know a lot of it again is just what what people are doing and, and what we do is based on what other people are doing andre are you like the return guru or something this is how many years are you going to have the the consensus all america kick return back there does it matter even who's back there when you're well coaching? you ever heard that old country song don't count your money while you're sitting at the table <laughs> I just, I don't even, I just, we just, I'm just trying to beat Duke. And, uh, you know, if we get a good return, great. Uh, Got to make sure Duke doesn't get one. And, and I don't even, I don't even pay that much attention. What's this Duke defense do well? Oof. Man, they, 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 they play a same ball. I mean, they play hard. It's hard to get them out of a gap, but they're supposed to be in the B gap. They're, they're in the B gap. And uh, they don't leave many gaps available. You know, they crowd the box. They're going to have extra guys around the ball the great majority of the time. They do a good job coaching, knowing your tendency. So we've got to do a good job disguising some of the things we've done to try to make them think we're doing something when we're doing something else. They just, they're just well coached and they play hard. At linebacker 44 gets a lot of accolades for them. Is he one of those guys that, you know, Quadri and Darren just have to try to make them miss if they, if they get to him? <laughs> we'll try to block them. <laughs> we'll try to. But he's a good player. All the linebackers are good players. I mean, 34 is a good player. And, you know, and he got nicked up. His backup went in the game and played fantastic. I met, uh, I've got a little cousin on the team, in the 16. Dylan Singleton's my cousin. He's playing hard, one of the leading tacklers. One of my best buddies' sons, you know, Chris Rump's playing, doing a good job leading the tech team in tackles for loss and sacks and stuff. So they play hard. They do a good job. They, they play fundamentals and, uh, and they play hard and they do a good job. George, George isn't getting the stats like he had two years ago, but I mean, how would you sort of evaluate the way he's played so far this season after coming back from the kind of a lost year? Fantastic. What's he, just, what's he doing well? Is it more just those nitty gritty fullback things that don't show up in the box just, score? That's right. He just does those. He, you know, he's, he does those jobs nobody else wants to do. He enjoys doing them, and uh, he's fantastic. Wouldn't trade him for nothing. Other teams know who he is. They recognize him. They recognize what a good job he does. Did you guys know that, like, when you first got here as a coaching staff, he was going to be that kind of guy for you? Or? No, I just looked at his neck width. And knew <laughs> I wanted a, the guy with a neck that fat, I want him on my side. <laughs> do, do you guys, when you watch, go back and watch the film too, and like, especially when he split out wide and comes motioning in, do you guys sort of get a little excited in the film, knowing somebody's probably going to get it when he's cracking inside or one no, of those plays? We're just, we're just trying to make a play and gain <laughs> yards. 
you know, it just. He's, he's pretty effective on those when he's come motioning in. Yeah, Seems like you guys, well, those plays a, are doing well for you. Keep your eyes on him. He's effective at doing a lot of things. Mm -hmm. So that's just, that's just, and the thing is, I mean, you just, I mean, he understands. You tell him what we're trying to do, the concept of the play, you know, the leverage, where the leverage should be, where the ball is going, what the defense is going to do. He just gets it done. Those, those three guys, those three seniors I got right now have really made my job a lot easier because they're just, they're all smart. They're all tough and they're all dependable.